giving you a gift giving guide for those special people in your life. Friends, family, loved ones, a significant other, maybe somebody new that you're dating. I do hope that these suggestions help you. I'm sorry that my gift giving guide is coming a little late, um, but I do hope that these last minute gift giving suggestions help you all out. Well, I figured while I am showing you gifts, I'm also gonna make some gift suggestions of things that you can actually go out and buy right away um, that are probably a little bit more specific to where you live. If you happen to be dating someone new because somebody asked me this on Instagram a couple of nights ago, what do you get her if you haven't become official yet? Now, I didn't ask the details as to whether or not they were intimate yet, but he did divulge that he and this uh, young woman are not official yet. So my suggestion was to get her um, perhaps some comfortable pajamas like cotton or flannel, depending on how cold it is where you live, or a matching um, hoodie and sweatpants set. Now this isn't a hoodie and sweatpants set, but this is a really cute set of like pants and a matching top that I got at Express. I think it was like 50 bucks on Black Friday. Um, but you can, of course, always get her matching sweatpants and uh, a hoodie from Hollister, Abercrombie & Fitch, H&M, uh, Zara, Positively Evil. There's a lot of brands out there that do um, those matching sets that she can wear at home to be comfy or out in public when she's like on the go. And I would pair that with either a gift card to Starbucks or her local favorite nail salon perhaps so that she can get a pedicure because it lets her know that you want her to be warm from the inside out if you're like giving her coffee and like something warm and snuggly to like keep warm with when she's out or when she's at home, maybe when she's like sick or not feeling good, she can just like wrap up in that and feel good and be reminded of you. Um, and girls really like getting pedicures usually. And that's a warm experience too because they usually put your feet in really warm water and it feels good. Uh, if you are dating a guy and you guys aren't official yet or you're something that's like new, I would definitely suggest doing something similar. Maybe get him a hoodie, um, get him a gift card to his local barber or barber shop if they do that at that barber shop. I've seen some places do that. Um, if he's into meal prepping or barbecuing or just cooking in general, you can get him an order of different kinds of meat from Omaha Steaks. There's also exotic meat companies online that you can, in certain places, you can order exotic meats. I know that I'm only allowed to order certain things to California, like I can't get kangaroo meat here. I'm not supposed to be able to eat alligator. There's all kinds of things that I like eating that I can't order here. And don't come at me if you're vegan or you really like animals. Like, don't get me wrong, I love animals, but they taste good too, so sorry. But that would be my suggestion if your dude is into like cooking and stuff. Um, but of course, like I said, for the ladies, like something that's super simple to get a guy is a really nice sweatshirt or jacket or hoodie and a gift card probably to Starbucks if he's on the go a lot, maybe to his local barbershop or um, a local butcher is another good option if you don't want to do like Omaha steaks or whatever because things like Omaha steaks are like flash frozen meats that they send in dry ice and they are delivered directly to the person. Um, and you can do either, I think it's like a sample pack of different kinds of meats or you can do um, a subscription, depending on how much money you wanna spend the person. But those are my suggestions for people um, that are new to your life. They actually don't sound like terrible suggestions to maybe get like a family member either, but um, I also think that it, it shows like care and concern for the person and their warmth and comfort level, but also, you know, doesn't like cross the line. So, or make it awkward or whatever, if you guys like aren't quite there yet. So those are my suggestions for like the more, um, vanilla, I guess, kind of ideas. And I'm gonna hop into some ideas that are a little bit more personal to the ladies in your life. And some of these suggestions are also for gentlemen. One of the first things that I would recommend um, if you are looking for somebody that you're a little bit more acquainted with is perfumes or colognes. I know that it can be really difficult, but if you wanna do something that's fun and different, you can get um, sample sort of sets where you, you get different kinds of perfumes from different brands. They do have one at Sephora and I believe also at Ulta where there's like Versace, YSL, like high-end brands. And there's, I think, eight or 10 of them in a box. And they can try out all the different ones when they find the one that they really like in that particular box set. They bring in the box set and they exchange that for one full-size um, perfume or cologne. So that would be a suggestion. But my other suggestion are things like this that are from one particular brand. If you kind of have an idea of the kind of smells that they like or the certain scents that they enjoy, that would be my other suggestion is going with a brand that you know that they like or something that has um, 
a note that they really like. Like vanilla is something that I've heard men really like. Well, I really like wearing vanilla, not just because men like it, but because I like the smell of vanilla. Um, so one of the, I'm so sorry, I keep saying, um, it's been a hot minute since I, I filmed a video and I have a lot going on today. One of the companies that I really like is called Juliet Has a Gun, which I know sounds like a crazy name, but a lot of their perfumes or colognes to me have the kind of scent that could go one way or the other. There are some that I feel are definitely a bit more feminine, like um, Lady Vengeance and Vanilla Vibes. Those ones to me definitely smell a bit more feminine, but there's a couple in here that I feel like either a man or a woman could wear. So if the idea of getting something that a man or a woman could use um, kind of sparks your interest, Replica is the brand for you to check out. So this has 10 different scents in it. Um, Jazz Club by the Fireplace are a couple of my favorites. Those to me are definitely a bit more masculine, um, but again, they're meant to be worn by men or women. Lazy Sunday Morning, and I think there was another one that they recently came out with. Um, definitely is a little bit more on the feminine side, but there's like tons of scents in here. Sailing Day definitely could be worn by a man or a woman. I think Coffee Break is one. Coffee Break doesn't just smell like coffee. There's like a slight hint of coffee in there, but there's something else that I can't quite place. And it smells amazing on a man or a woman. It's a, it's a great scent. I think there's a little bit of vanilla in that as well, but it's not to the point where it's like fruity and girly vanilla. It's got like a robust kind of like musk smell to it, but not musk like old people smell <laughs> or like mothballs. It smells good. But this is a great um, a great value because their bottle of perfume, like a full size one, I think is $135. I think Juliet has a gun is like 150 bucks. This set I think was like $60 for 10 different scents. And this one was 50 bucks for six, but these are much bigger samples. Um, so I love those. I think that they're, they're a great option for a man or a woman. Again, great for somebody that you're potentially dating, a significant other that you just want to like try something new, maybe a brother or sister that is looking to um, expand their horizons and get away from Axe or Bath and Body Works because I've recently expanded my horizons and started to appreciate and enjoy a good perfume a little bit more. So segueing kind of away from Sephora specifically, but keeping on the theme of perfumes and colognes, I found a brand through TikTok called Alt. And I found it because people kept going on and on about this Baccarat Rouge fucking, I don't know, 365 or 530 or it's some fancy tiny little, like maybe this size bottle of perfume and it's like 600 bucks. I'm like, huh, what? Does it wipe your butt with gold toilet paper? There is no way I'm spending that much on like a couple of ounces of perfume. So Alt has an alternative. They have like a dupe for it and this one is called Crystal Number 23. So this one is supposed to be the uh, dupe to the Baccarat Rouge $600 perfume. I think this was like 30 or 40 bucks and this has lasted me nearly six months. I love, love, love the way this stuff smells. I don't know what is in it. I, I have no idea, but it smells delicious. And I get a lot of compliments on this one. To me, this is definitely more of a, a feminine scent, but it smells delicious. They also do carry dupes for like Sauvage and things like that that men like. So I definitely recommend those. I'm gonna to try to include some other clips of other um, perfume sets that maybe come with like a lotion or a full-size cologne or perfume and a travel size set that I saw at Sephora but I didn't purchase, just so you guys have an idea of other things that they carry. Some of my other favorites that I wanted to discuss with you guys that they specifically have at Sephora. Sunscreen, I keep telling you guys, especially on social media, on Instagram, sunscreen is extremely important. I get my body checked every year for all of my moles. I'm covered in freckles and moles and they warned me that the ones on my arms right here are the ones I have to look out for because they're flat. They're more likely to change color, change shape, size, all that stuff. So this is what I have to worry about. I use uh, regular body sunscreen. I use uh, sun bum. I really like the sun bum sunscreen for my body when I'm out and my skin is being exposed. For my face, neck, and decollete, which is like your chest area, I love this unseen sunscreen by Supergoop. Uh, it also has a photo finish like filter in it, a uh, primer. So it goes on clear and you don't have to worry about having some sort of white residue or, or powder or grease on your face. It doesn't end up greasy. There's also one that's called Glow Screen and that has like a tinted moisturizer in it. 
and um, it, it has like a, what do you call it? Like reflectors in it, like highlighter. It has highlighter in it. So you can put your makeup on over it if you want, or you can just wear the, the tinted sunscreen moisturizer. I personally like the unseen one better just because I don't need to have glowy skin, look dewy. I, to me, it just looks wet, but that's just my opinion. And I don't really care for that. With taking care of your skin some more, you want to get some really good makeup remover. This stuff was on sale for like 10 bucks and it's from Clinique and Clinique is not a cheap brand. They, um, they're a really, really good brand. I was using their makeup when I was in high school and I had really bad acne and Clinique was the brand that was suggested to me. Um, I've, I've trusted them for years. So they're a great brand. Um, oh, it's hard to like sit like that for a long period of time. I didn't realize, uh, eyeshadow. <clears throat> so I'm not that into makeup. I'm actually not wearing any today. Um, I'm so proud of myself. I'm getting more comfortable with my skin. I'm just like, fuck it, deal with it. Mm. I'm wearing my moisturizer and I've got my, my unseen screen, sunscreen on. But I know that a lot of girls like Urban Decay. I love the Urban Decay lip liner that I bought a few years ago. I probably should get a new one because you're supposed to, you know, get new makeup every few months. But uh, it hasn't ran out on me yet, so I'm still using the damn lip liner. But their, um, their naked palettes are always super freaking expensive. They're like 60 bucks or whatever. And usually during the holiday sales, especially on Black Friday at Sephora, you can get these things for like 22 bucks. Like, excuse me, something that's normally like 60, 70 bucks is $22. So just for future reference, you've probably missed out on the sale by now, but by next year, just remember to do this. A great alternative to that. Now this is all stuff from Sephora. Great alternative to Urban Decay palettes because they do have beautiful, vibrant colors. The pigments stick very well is Morphe. Morphe is the other brand. I didn't get a um, eyeshadow palette from them, but I did get my sister their, uh, what do you call it? Foundation and finishing powder because it's cruelty free. My sister is a huge animal lover. She is an avid dog rescuer. Like she's just all about, you know, cruelty free uh, products. NYX is another cruelty-free brand, but I do feel that the Morphe makeup does tend to last longer and look, it just looks more expensive. It doesn't look cheap. It's not gonna like kind of um, smear a whole bunch. I just, I really like the Morphe makeup and finishing powder. It works really well. And their pigments for their eyeshadows are chef's kiss perfect, very vibrant, especially when you use their um, eyeshadow primer. It's great. Sticking with the theme of makeup, but jumping to another store, we're gonna go to Lip Lab. So there are locations for Lip Lab all over the United States. There's not very many of them, but I know that there are a few on the East Coast as well as the West Coast. There's one here in Irvine that's not far from me, which is where I went. There's one in Las Vegas. I believe there's also one in LA. You get to go in and design your own makeup, or your own lipstick, your own lipstick color. So I did two that day and um, it's not cheap, but it's a lot of fun. So although you particularly aren't gonna be going in and probably creating a lip color for your loved one, you can get them a gift card and I promise you they'll have a great time. It's a lot of fun. Whether they are 16 or 60, I'm sure that they'll really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun doing this. So you not only get to formulate your own color by mixing different colors with a lip lab technician, you get to name it and they like etch in the, the name on the top of your, your lipstick and everything. And they keep the name on file with a code so that if you ever run out of it, you don't have to try to figure out the formula again. It's always on file. So I created Slip Into This, which you see me wear a lot on Instagram and Whispery Rain, which I think I've only worn once because I'm, I'm not this bold, but I do love this color that I made. So the Slip Into This is kind of like a mocha brown color, I suppose. Um, it's pretty neutral. I like it. It's very simple. And Whispery Rain is a very dark, like cranberry sort of color. Um, kind of like a, a dark maroon. I feel like this color was really popular, like in the mid nineties. There's a particular picture, I think from Vogue of Drew Barrymore. And the picture, it has like a blue cast on it and she's got a really, really dark red lip. And that's what I was trying to create there. But I love that. I know that's kind of a long story, but I'm sure that the other women out there will probably go, oh my God, I totally know what you're thinking and I totally know what you're talking about. But it was a lot of fun. I really liked it. Um, oh, the other thing to take note of is the base of it, I believe, is coconut oil. So it, it keeps your lips very moisturized and you can all moisturized <laughs> and you can also pick what scent you want it to be. It can be like a neutral smell. It doesn't have to have a scent to it, but I think I put peppermint in mine. So it has like a little bit of a, a tingle and a good scent to it. But now we're gonna go on to skincare because skincare is extremely important to me as it should be all of you, whether you are a man or a woman, you should definitely be taking care of your skin. Like I said, the sunscreen. So um, 
In one of my other videos where I talked about skincare, I talked about the lip sleeping mask. So this one is a limited edition one because it is peppermint and I do love peppermint. I love the way it smells. I love the way that it tingles a little bit. And this was a limited edition one that they had at Sephora. So I got that. I definitely recommend that for anybody. It's a great stocking stuffer. And sometimes when you go to Sephora, you can find the smaller version up in the, um, the queue line to like wait to go to the register. So I definitely recommend that. This I've seen all over TikTok and all over Instagram. I've never tried it, but my girlfriend that I've got, she really wants to try this stuff. Um, the Watermelon Glow B PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner is like the number one thing everybody raves about all over the internet, apparently. And I was like, you know what? I'm not that into it. I do my own regimen uh, and regime every morning and every night for my skin. I, I might have to go find another one of these and try it. But this was another thing that was a great value because just that thing alone, the full size one, I think, don't quote me if I remember correctly, it's like 40 or 50 bucks. This whole thing was like 40 bucks and you get the cleanser, the toner, the moisturizer, a sleeping mask and um, an eye sleeping mask, like a, a retinol serum to go under your eyes. It's got like avocado in it. I'm not a dermatologist. I don't know how much bullshit that is or if that's accurate, but it sounded good. The stuff smells good because I opened the tester and smelled them. Cause you know, if it's gonna be on your face, it, you're gonna be smelling it. And I would hate to like buy somebody something that smells like ass and have it sitting on their face all night long. Uh, this I did get for my sister. Her and I both have dark circles under our eyes because we don't sleep much. And concealer can only do so much. You need to get something that will correct it. And I've been using um, the Ordinary brand caffeine serum under my eyes. And it seems to be helping quite a bit, but the woman at Sephora suggested this old Henriksen uh, Let's Get Luminous set. And again, another great value because you've spent about 30 or 40 bucks on this set, whereas you would spend like 30 or 40 bucks just on the one item that's in here. And granted, these are smaller versions of these items, but it gives you the opportunity to spend just as much as you would on one item on like the whole skincare system. Jumping over to Ulta really quick, just again, a couple of things. We've already discussed my lip lab lipsticks that I love, but again, Morphe is specifically at Ulta and I do love Morphe. The other thing I wanted to mention with skincare is Keys, OMG. So I don't know how or why I found this at Ulta a year ago, but I fell in love with this brand. I have their body oil, their face wash, the um, scrub, it's like, they're like crystals. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a granular scrub and it's a powder and you just tap a little bit in your hand and a little bit of water, let it suds up a little bit and that's your exfoliant and it's gentle, but it works excellent. Um, their body oil is great. I do love their face wash. It has honey in it and there's something else that, I think it's turmeric, that soothes redness and swelling. So I actually bought this for my brother's girlfriend because she's really big on taking care of her skin as well. I really, really, really love this stuff though. And the full size, this is a face and body wash, I guess you, that they've changed it, the formula or at least the packaging that states you can use it as body, hand or uh, face wash. But this alone is like 20 bucks. This whole thing was $48. And I know that the, the body oil, I think was like another 20 bucks or whatever. It's like each item usually within their line is roughly about 20 bucks, but it's well worth it because it lasts you a really long time. One pump for your face and that's it. That's all you need. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff. Um, and with your body too, their body oil, it do, it's not thin, but it's not so thick that you have to keep using it and using it and using it to make it um, spread. But I really do love this stuff, but it was like 48 bucks for all three items um, instead of like 60 bucks. So that's a pretty good value. And if you do like taking care of your skin um, all over and you like body oil, this OC oil smells so good. I will warn you, this shit is expensive. It's like 60 bucks, but it is so good. It smells delicious. You are nice and moist all day long um, and glistening. Your skin is like glistening and glowing and it just feels so good and it smells so good and it does absorb into your skin pretty well, but you still stay moist. You don't have that dry feeling after it's absorbed into your skin, but um, probably won't last you that long because you're gonna wanna use it all the time. So I do try to ration using this just because it is really expensive, but it smells really, really good. I was getting set up 
to show you this other personalized gift that I bought. And I completely forgot to discuss the other things that I got at Sephora. So one of my other girlfriends and I both love this Brazilian bum bum stuff. This stuff is expensive also usually. It's usually six, what, 45 or 60 bucks for like the little thing of lotion, the, the tub of lotion. This one comes with a tub of lotion, a tub of the scrub, body wash and body spray. And it was, it usually has up here, where was it? 62 bucks instead of 93. So yeah, you get quite a bit of shit in here. And it lasts you a long time because if I recall correctly, it's, I think it's the full size stuff. I don't want to open it because you have to like open it, open it. And I want my friend to like open it on Christmas. I don't want her to be like, hmm, this has already been opened. But this is also a great value. This one is another thing that I've discovered from TikTok. I'm gonna move this really quick. <sighs> like I feel so naked. <laughs> So I found this through TikTok and it wasn't the set that I found. It's this tiger grass color correcting treatment. That stuff on its own is like $45. But with this set that um, they were selling for 60 bucks and I got it on sale for 40 and this value is $92 and 60 cents. But then the thing is for is 60 and I got it for 40. Um, you get the vital hydration solution. You get a cream moisturizer, you get the tiger grass enzyme foam cleanser, and you get this tiger grass color correcting treatment. I personally haven't tried the color correcting treatment. I did get this set for my mother and I, I couldn't wait till Christmas. I gave it to her. Her skin does tend to have a bit more of a red tint to it, especially on her cheeks. She gets very flushed. Um, and so I was like, hey, you know, why don't we try this and see if that kind of calms the redness a little bit. And she rubbed it in and I was like, wow, that works really, really well. And periodically, like I break out, I'm an adult, I'm a woman, I'm hormonal, it happens. So I think that this at the very least will help me cover up my breakouts when that shit happens. But I definitely recommend it. Um, and I think that it's a great value also. Okay, now this is a gift. I know that a lot of my gifts so far that I've shown you have to do with women. And I apologize if you aren't looking to purchase gifts for um, women or other women, but you're looking to purchase gifts for guys. I'll try to give you some more suggestions for that. This potentially could be one of them. Um, but I do hope that my feminine suggestions as well as my uh, sort of ambiguous or neutral suggestions help as well. Now this is a bit more personal. There are four cases in here. Uh, three of them are the same thing. One of them is not like the other. My grandmother recently passed. And it's been really hard on my mom and the rest of the family. Um, we're, we were all very close to her, we love her to pieces. And I, I just, I want my mom to have something that reminds her of my grandmother all the time. And I just thought this would be a great gift for anybody to get somebody. It doesn't have to be a grandmother. It can just be um, memories of you with your dad, with your brother, with your sister, with your significant other, uh, with friends, family, whatever, just this way it's always around you. So I'm gonna open the first one. So this one says mom and has pictures of my grandmother growing up, has on the other side a picture of my mom with my grandmother when my mom was a baby, and then a picture of them hugging, and beneath it it says, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. So if any of you are familiar with the book, I'll Love You Forever, my mom used to read it to me when I was a kid um, and it just, it makes me think of, of their relationship because my mom was taking really good care of my grandmother before she passed and she was like completely devoted to her and would like put her life on hold to make sure that my grandmother was okay. And um, I just, I want my mom to be reminded of the fact that like, you know, grandma knows that she was loved and um, my grandma loved my mom very much. So, <clears throat> sorry for getting emotional, but I think that it's a great gift to give somebody um, something that's personalized, whether it's something that reminds you of something sad or happy. Um, now, this is something that's happy and kind of funny. So, as my grandmother got older, um, how do I put this politely? She would break a little wind now, every now and then, and she'd go, oh, I'm so gassy. She was uh, from the Midwest, uh, Oklahoma, I believe. Oklahoma, yes, uh, Hollis, Oklahoma. And uh, 
I'd be walking behind her in the mall and toot, 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 as she'd walk and I'd go, Grandma, and she'd go, oh, I'm so gassy. So um, I didn't just wanna make my mom cry with her mug, I also wanted to give her the opportunity to look down when she's having her coffee or a tea of the morning and, and think of Grandma and laugh. So I had this, uh, this other coffee mug made and it has all of my grandmother's older photos of her growing up, her baby photo, um, and back then, you know, it was, they were all about like doing their hair up and everything. So I, I love all these old pictures of her. So one side says, I'm so gassy. And the other side says, but I'm classy. So I got these from Shutterfly. And if you do the express shipping, you'll probably get them within a couple of days. I got mine in a week. I did buy three of these because I wanted one for myself, my mother and my sister. Uh, no, my mom doesn't know that I got her these things. I have no idea if she ever watches my YouTube channel. If she does, hi mom, and you just ruined the surprise, but I hope that uh, you like it. So the final gift suggestion that I'm gonna give you all is to do something that helps to create memories. All of this stuff, it can be lost, stolen, broken, replaced, exchanged. It'll run out at some point, but a memory will last you a lifetime and hopefully it will last those around you their lifetime and then some. Hopefully they can share their memories with everybody else and inspire other people to go live a fun, happy and fulfilled life like you did. So that's my other suggestion. Do something that will help to make memories. Plan a trip somewhere, maybe get tickets to a concert, um, I know that you can rent out movie theaters for pretty cheap in some places. So maybe you do like a family thing where your entire family gets together and goes to see a movie and you guys rent out the entire movie theater. Well, that particular movie theater that you're sitting in, like, you know, room seven or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've seen that people do that. So I think that that's a great idea. Um, but yes, definitely when things open back up, wherever you're at, go create memories and then document the shit out of it. That's the other thing. Make sure you document your memory making. It is so important. I'm so thankful that we live in a day and age where, yes, it can be a pain in the butt to have technology, but at the same time, it comes in handy um, when you when you miss a loved one who has <clears throat> passed away and you just want to hear the sound of their voice and you just want to see their smiling face. So, um, I, I hope that my gift giving suggestions have helped you out. I hope that you all have a wonderful, happy holiday season, and I will talk to you all again soon.